Welcome back to G-Ball Vision, everyone. Thank you for stopping in. Today, I have an exciting unboxing to dig into for you. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. Let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down there in the comments. Love hearing from you and what you're carrying for the day. So we have a new knife coming in from a new company. This company is called Valhalla and they reached out to me all through email and wanted me to check out one of their new knives. And this is going to be called the Lord, the Valhalla Lord. And I've seen a photo of it. I, I have a general idea, but I can tell by the weight of this thing, it is like the size or the weight of an 8010, uh, at least maybe even more so let's see what we got nice packaging we got a zippered pouch here and paperwork tool microfiber cloth and there is our knife yeah this is a big feller here Woo -hoo -hoo. oh wow okay so this is an affordable version of this knife I told them they need a premium version of, of it as well uh, at some point in the future. And I think that is for certain. If they do this in a titanium handle, which this is a steel frame lock. And then we have a milled steel clip there. Right hand carry only. And we do have a steel backspacer with integrated lanyard loop there. We are looking at D2 steel. We have a stone wash flat. And then, yeah, that's a belt satin there on the primary. It's like a lower tipped clip point. I really like these lower, uh, lower tipped clip points because they just work really well you can still use the entirety of that tip and not have any trouble doing it and then you have a little bit of belly if you need the way this is designed you have a nice choil here so you'll be able to choke up right behind that edge this really it feels like because of the size and the weight it kind of feels like the proponent it's a completely different knife I'm just saying in regards to the size and the weight. So if you've ever handled the proponent, that's kind of the idea I'm getting from this. We'll check its weight and dimensions here. Let's see, let's see what we're looking at overall to that backspacer there. Yeah, we're at like nine, almost nine and an eighth to the tip of that backspacer. Depending on where you measure for the blade, it'll be like four and a quarter to like three and three quarter to these two points. And as far as cutting edge goes, we are looking at like three and a half strong, like very strong. So this is a, a large folding knife. It is a overbuilt folding knife for sure. We're looking at 50% lock up there. We are centered up. Look at that blade stock. Yeah, this thing is a monster. Uh, I know they have a design or two out there, kind of like very affordable options, but I think this is their first lunge into, you know, something a little bit more expensive. Uh, I don't know who's doing, you know, the OEM work for these, but uh, no branding on the blade. As far as I know, no branding on the knife at all. We do have the D2 steel marking there. Uh, it looks clean. I mean, hell, if you didn't know this was a $60 knife or $50 knife, and I just showed this to you, you might think, man, that's titanium and crew wear, you know, for 400 bucks. I mean, it could be. 
I, that's what I said uh, to them in an email. You know, if this was titanium, you know, whether it's a <clears throat> reverse line, uh, a compression style lock or a button frame lock, something like that, something that can give us some strength in there. I mean, the button frame locks, I know people say frame locks aren't that, you know, the strongest thing. And, and I agree, but I think if done properly, though, you know, a nice hefty stop pin in there, proper geometry for the lockup, I think a frame lock can be pretty damn strong. Now, you know, what limits those can go to as far as being pushed, I think they're going to all vary. I don't know that you're going to want to baton it through a log. Uh, could it do it, though? You know, that remains to be seen. I've seen some pass, some fail. Going to carry like a milled clip with a little bit extra poking out there. It does have good retention on our issuing stitches cloth. And the blade looks nice and clean. Looks like a good edge. We'll go ahead and we'll check that edge. I will have this link down in the description along with anything else I can find from them. This will tell us if this has a good edge or not. Wow. I don't know if I was quite expecting that. That is extremely sharp. This thing is cutting like that. Woohoo! Wow. That is good. Very good. That's got a hell of an edge on it. Good access to the lock bar. Nice big chamfer on the lock bar. I wear an XL size glove and I'm, you know, I have a neutral grip here, a gripped or a tight neutral grip, and I have plenty of room on this handle to choke up on the handle or relent back a little bit, and you have that entire choil area there if you were to need to choke up for a controlled cut or really get up on that tip and use this for a very precise type cut with that tip you can you know achieve all that with this and you have this thing being just an overbuilt tank now the next question we need to answer is it is it big for nothing right is it gonna be able to withstand some impacts and not have its lock fail up it does look like it's locked up pretty well when we do a normal Flick open, it's up there at like 45%. To answer your question on the detent, it is nice. We have some oversized studs there. Good closing action. It's not, it's controlled, especially for how heavy that blade is. I mean, it closes by itself, but it's not this loosey-goosey like, that's pretty damn good for how heavy that blade is. Stop it at 50, and it'll have a nice, smooth ride home. Yeah. Some oversized jimping up there. I like this thing. This thing would be sick in an oversized uh, or in a material upgraded form. You know, the lock we could debate on. But like crew wear, 3V, M4, something like that. 14C even for the next step up from this knife. Titanium and 14C for like 120. Yeah. With a milled tie clip. Yeah. Introduce this screw to this bottom screw. Right? You'd knock out a whole screw. And you'd be able to move this milled clip up. 
And you could even toll it for lefty at that point. You'd have one extra hole that you could fill with a screw. And that would deepen this up, clean it up. Yeah. This thing is sweet. I like it. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a simp for large knives. But I really like them when they're, they're well done, too. Sounds like this thing is delivering the blow, for sure. And not that blow. I know what you're thinking. Looking good, feeling good. No movement in any direction. Yeah, that thing is solid. Solid. We need to try, hell, I might order another one of these and see, see if we get the same results. This thing is, I like this. If this is like 50, 60 bucks, which I think that it is, like I said, I'll link it down below. Uh, if you use that Amazon link, it does help out the channel. It's not an affiliate link with Valhalla. It's just my normal Amazon store link. Uh, but that does help out the channel as well. But yeah, I'll link these and you can go check them out. Uh, see what maybe the company is about. See what the knife is about a little bit more if there's any information on it. But that is the Valhalla Lord, L-O-R-D. And that is a large feller there. And I, I really like this. If they did two other versions, you know with upgraded materials, two more levels. Oh man, they'd have a nice, you know, I think the next step up would be like 14C and titanium and then get that out there. And then at some point, you know, do it in a real super steel, a premium super steel, like crew wear or something and titanium with some carbon fiber, a few small modifications, you know, True, this thing would be a monster. I like it. It doesn't remind me of anything, you know. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. You'll have to let me know what you think of this thing here. We're going to keep messing with it, carry it, see what uh, happens with it, and we'll keep you updated on that. But for now, it's looking pretty damn good. Let me know what you think of this thing. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Always appreciate that, everyone. If you're new here, we release knife and EDC content like this every single day. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the little bell. I'd love to have you here. I'll put a couple of videos up. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching, and I will catch you on the next.